little bonus featurette has made this. I'm going to do a video on how I make my espresso uh, at some point. My espresso machine is four feet in that direction. I can move over to my futon and sit down and make my espresso from grounds. If I need to grind beans, I need to go to the kitchen. That's where the grinder is. This is a relaxing beverage and a inspiring beverage. I drink it socially. I drink it antisocially. It is medicine. I was diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder when I was in eighth grade. ADHD. I don't even think that's a diagnosis anymore. I think it's a symptom of being on the uh, autism spectrum at this point in time, which uh, I don't know how they're classifying things these days. I should probably look that up. Andrew has some problems. That's the only reason I know that the diagnoses have changed. My brain wants to do 50 things every minute. I've never taken Ritalin or any other medications for my ADHD. I've only recently discovered that things like this are actually beneficial for me. It's medication, it's self-medication. If I go to a coffee shop and the order that I place does not make the barista's eyes go wide and have them tilt their head and say, really? I haven't ordered it right. On a decent day where I'm just trying to maintain mental function, I'll do eight shots of espresso over ice. I like my drinks iced. Eight's a lot. That's... I don't like drinking 16 cups of coffee. On a day where I'm writing, I will do 10 shots. If I do more than 10 shots, uh, certainly if I do like 12, I pass out. Uh, takes me too far past focused and deep into tired. When your brain functions like this and you have ADHD or the associated whatever it is these days, there are parts of your brain that fire off all the time, continuously giving you extra ideas and extra, extra thoughts and bringing in extra sensory material. You're, you're noticing more and you're processing more and I've only got two hands and one set of eyes and one brain. I can only get it to go in one direction at once effectively, but it can stay in the middle and start going in 50 different directions all the time. You just never get there. Get in the car and try and go 50 different places all at once. It doesn't work. You have to be able to focus down on going to one place. So caffeine or other similar stimulants um, affect that part of the brain that is firing off and giving you all of this extra stimulus and input from the inside. And it stimulates those cell assemblies. It makes them fire off really, really fast, really, really hard. It makes them exhaust themselves so that the neurochemicals necessary for the neurotransmitters necessary for bridging the synapses and allowing those cell assemblies to continue to function or just too tired. I have to wear out the parts of my brain that want to go 50 different directions so that I can go one direction. This is a um, butterscotch 
flavored coffee. Um, had a friend of mine provided for me. Uh, I have a lot of this to, to go through in the can. Uh, I've got a uh, bag of Death Wish over there. Not only Death Wish, the, the regular Death Wish coffee, but also a bag of the Valhalla Java, and I'm going to be getting to that at some point, probably soon. Um, I, I don't have to make myself espresso daily. Uh, my son and my wife keep a very good supply of cold brew coffee that they make themselves in our refrigerator. Um, they, they grind beans and put them in water overnight and let the natural extraction occur and then they chill that and it is a uh, more thorough extraction even than this so it might not have more caffeine by volume but it is a more ready source of caffeine but I made this I pressed the puck and worked the machine and ran the steam through the grounds and there's dials and switches and levers and it feels like I'm doing something. Not only is this making the parts of my brain that are responsible for my hyperactivity and tension deficit fire off until they're tired, but at this point there's also a substantial placebo effect. I know this is going to make me think better. I believe this is going to make me able to focus, able to pick a task and stick through it to the end. And because I believe that strongly, that is going to increase that effect. Even though I understand that it's partially placebo, I also understand that it's partially real. So that all kind of works together, synergistic effect. Uh, I am getting the benefit from the caffeine and I'm getting the benefit from the placebo effect and the combined benefits are greater than the sum of the benefits. At least that's how I believe it works. I drink a lot of coffee. This is, this is my, uh, this is eight. Uh, I had one of these full of cold brew when I was doing my recording earlier for the matters of. Um, so, I've had, uh, by the time I've gotten to the bottom of this, I will have had something like the equivalent of 20 cups of coffee. It's a good start. I develop a resistance. The, the caffeine uh, doesn't have the same effect. I've got to dry out for a few days. Not completely because uh, caffeine withdrawal headaches are monstrous but I need to drop it down to two or four shots a day. It still seems like a lot of caffeine. I'm not really worried about my heart. Um, my heart seems to be in pretty good shape. I hit 50 without having a heart attack, which for men in my family is a tremendous achievement, so I'm pretty good with that. Uh, I'm worried about my brain, but yeah, caffeine doesn't have the horrific side effects that a number of other stimulants I could be using do. Sometimes you just gotta talk about your coffee. Thanks for watching.